I haven't had a chance to get around to doing a video in a while, and so I thought I would do a video, a fairly quick video of what all is in my pack. Um, my son and I are going to get the opportunity to do a little, just a quick trip overnight uh, up on the Appalachian Trail. We're going to try to hike from the Springer Mountain uh, up to maybe Hawk Mountain uh, Shelter, maybe a little different uh, location, but for now that's what we're thinking about doing. And so uh, we were getting our packs ready, and I thought, well, I hadn't done a video in a while, so I thought I'd give it a shot and do one with what's in my pack. So let's get into it. Uh, my pack is a ULA circuit. I've had this pack for a while. I really like it. It's lightweight, durable, rides really well on my back. And so I've been real pleased with it. Uh, ULA is a good company, US made pack. Um, so if you hadn't, hadn't ever looked at ULA packs, take a look at them. They're good, good packs. I really like them. Uh, my son's pack is also a ULA pack. It's a smaller one. Um, I don't remember what it was, though, but it's a smaller pack that he uses. And, um, you know, real comfortable. Carries what we need. This one, the only thing I, I really don't like about this one is for the summertime, there's a there's a frame in here, like a, a, a composite fiberglass or something pole that kind of runs around the back, around here that gives it the frame. And so when it's not fully loaded, like I carry in the summertime, if I don't have it fully loaded, uh, that, that pole sometimes will bump into the back of my head. Uh, it's not really a problem, I just kind of notice it. Uh, in the wintertime when I use this, it's full, so that's I don't even notice it. Uh, but uh, in the summer I don't have as much stuff in it. So uh, before we go on the inside of the pack, we'll just see uh, what I've got here on the outside. Uh, water filter. This is my Sawyer Sawyer Squeeze. Uh, this is actually the Sawyer Mini. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to carry the Mini or the regular one. I put them both in there a little while ago. Uh, I like the flow rate on the regular Sawyer Squeeze, so I'll probably end up using that one. Uh, I may throw the Mini in my son's pack just as a, as a spare. So the Sawyer squeeze filter goes on this. Uh, this is an Evernew bag. Uh, this is what I use for dirty, dirty water, collecting water. And then I uh, filter it into my water bottle. Uh, don't know what the bugs are going to be like, so I've got uh, some wipes with deep in it. I um, don't know how they're going to be. These are my tent stakes. They're titanium shepherd hood hook stakes there. Um, so I'll move all this stuff down here on the ground. Uh, this is my, my buff. I just kind of use this as a bandana, uh, sweat rag, that kind of stuff. Comes in handy. Uh, these are my shoes and these are my gaiters that I use uh, on my shoes like this. Kind of keeps rocks and bugs and sticks and just general dust and stuff out. Uh, these are made by Dirty Girl. They're, I don't know where the name comes from, but it's a lady who makes these online. Uh, they're just stretchy polyester type material, uh, not waterproof or anything, but they do keep bugs and sticks and things like that out. Really lightweight. Uh, go around the top of my shoes. Uh, I hike in Trail Hikers. This is a fairly new pair I've had for a little while. They're Solomon uh, Wings Pro. They're lightweight, comfortable. Um, my other pair was starting to get a little worn. They were Solomon's as well, uh, but uh, I'm going to retire those. I still wear those around town from time to time. My other ones, they were the, the 3D GTX something or another. But they were trail runners as well. So that's what I hike in. Uh, spoon. This is a I've had this a while. This is Stoic. I think the I think it's actually Backcountry is the brand now. Backcountry.com website sells these. This is the long handle spoon. Uh, good for eating out of the freeze dried meals. Uh, it's got the polished bowl which I like that. Uh, it's a little bit easier grating on your teeth and stuff than the, than the textured kind. So I like the polished ones. Um, this is my uh, pooper scooper trial for digging cat holes when I'm in the woods for using the bathroom that kind of stuff. Uh, it's uh, the Deuce of Spades is the guy who did these. Um, 
you could probably Google that. Uh, it's is aluminum, super lightweight. I think it was a Kickstarter thing I did online. I contributed to it. I think he still makes these, but it's lightweight. Makes a good uh, little scoop for digging cat holes. Um, bug spray. This is a nat Natropel bug spray with uh, that Pickerton in it. Uh, it's good stuff. I like that. It's not not damaging to my uh, nylon and synthetic gears like deep. deep you got to be careful with deep because it'll it'll mess up your nylon stuff. Little first aid pack with some tweezers, band aids, tape, mole skin, little gauze, some medications to leave, step toe, that kind of stuff. Pretty basic first aid. This is my kind of my hygiene kit. It's got toothpaste, toothbrush, soap, hand sanitizer, toilet paper, uh, that kind of that kind of stuff. Uh, I think that's it there. Over in this pocket is where I keep my stove and cook kit and stuff. Uh, I like uh, to use an alcohol stove. This trip, my son's going to use his the pocket rocket we've got, but I like I still like an alcohol stove. So this is a one ounce fuel bottle here um, that I use to measure my alcohol with. It just makes measuring it a little bit easier. Uh, this is a Snow Peak uh, 700 cook pot made a little koozie for it to, for rehydrating meals. I stick it down in there, kind of keeps it warm. Also protect your hands if it's hot. This lid is not the original lid. This is a lid from uh, Four Dogs Stoves, I think. It's a titanium lid. Um, I like it a little better than the one that comes with this. Uh, the one that comes with it's perfectly functional, but this one's a little lighter weight and it's uh, domed. I kind of I, I kind of like it a little better. I picked that up from Four Dog Stoves. I got a little top for that too to help insulate it. Uh, carry a little piece of a bandana for for a pot holder for picking up hot hot handles or just for cleanup purposes. Uh, got a little mini big lighter in there. A little uh, piece of a scrub brush. This is alcohol denatured alcohol from a stove. use this little Tokes, I think it's a Tokes 450 for a mug to drink out of, coffee, hot chocolate, tea, whatever. Uh, so that's what I drink out of. Uh, this is my stove. This is made by Zelf Stoves. It's, um, I think calls it this Fancy Feast, but it's a cat, fan, cat food can with a stainless pot stand. Stove sits on there like that. This is a um, simmer ring. If you want to use that to to keep the flame a little lower, it simmers good with that. Uh, windscreen, titanium windscreen, I made that. These are hot lips that go on the on here to insulate the cup for drinking out of it to keep your lips from getting burned. So that's how that all sits up. Um, so that's my cook kit. I've used that one for a while. Nothing spectacular there, but I've had that for quite a while. And it works. Um, so on the pockets on the sides, we have headlight. This is a zebra. I don't remember what model. It's a zebra light. Uh, it's one of their more flood. I've had it for several years, so they may not even make this model anymore, but it's a, a flood light instead of a spot so it's uh, gives a good good throw it's got several modes uh, that you can go through there uh, but that, that's a good good light it's decent lightweight um, on the other side I think I got some chapstick ibuprofen that kind of stuff over here on this side usually I'll put some snacks or something in there when I'm, when I'm hiking on the other pocket over here Got a knife. This is a Enzo Elver, I think. It's a nice little fixed blade. Probably a little more heavy duty than what typically I would need backpacking, but I like to have a good knife, so I carry that. Um, also carry a piece of Tyvex for a ground cloth to stand on it in the uh, underneath my hammock, keep my feet clean and dry. Uh, usually I'll put a smart water bottle over here in this side as well, and then I'll carry a couple of Gatorade bottles. 
attached to my shoulder straps. This is just a little rag for wiping sweat and things like that. So inside the pack, got my tarp. This is um, a tarp I made. It's um, argon, seal argon, I think is the material that I got. It's a good size, probably a 11 by 10 or something like that, good size tarp. So uh, I'll try to show you uh, a picture of that if I can find one. This is just kind of a little uh, ditty bag of extra pieces. I've got a, a little repair kit, uh, some earplugs. If it, uh, if it gets noisy at night, I've got something I can put some earplugs in. I don't use those often, but I, I've got them just in case. Uh, also in here, I keep these little, uh, I got this idea from another guy that I've hiked with before. These are these little bread ties uh, or clips that come on bread. It's, um, they make good clothespins, lightweight clothespins, so if I want to hang up some clothes to dry on my ridge line on my hammock, uh, that holds them up there, keeps the wind from blowing them off, so that's handy. Uh, I've also got a little uh, bear line and a, a bag to put some rocks in to throw to pull my bag up to uh, keep the bears out of my food if, if we run into that area where there might be bears. Uh, i got an extra big lighter in there. And uh, some extra uh, suspension, like uh, whoopee slings or ham steel for suspension for my hammock. If either one I was have a problem with our hammock suspension, I got that in there too, so that's handy. Uh, so I line my pack with a trash compactor bag to keep things dry. Uh, don't expect this trip to be real wet, but I've got it just in case. Warbonnet Blackbird. XLC, this is their longer, we're buying this longer version. Uh, I've had the regular uh, hammock, their regular XLC, uh, regular Blackbird, uh, sold it to a buddy. Uh, and it, it was fine for me, but I'm 6'4", so this is a little bit more roomy. So I got the XLC version. Uh, uses this regular strap suspension. Uh, I haven't tried to lighten it up much. Uh, this is my under, no, this is my top quilt. This is a a synthetic top quilt that I made, summer weight probably down into the 40s. Uh, if I got a picture, I'll try to show you that too. Um, underquilt is another synthetic underquilt. This is the one I also made it. Um, it probably get me down into, into the upper 40s as well. The temperature is supposed to be in the mid to upper 50s. Uh, when we're camping, hiking, so this ought to be fine. Uh, I've also got a little uh, pillow in here. This is one I made out of a, I don't even know what this was, something came in this bag, and uh, I don't know what, but I stuffed it with some insulation. I had some neck surgery 10 or 15 years ago, and so I like to have a pillow for my neck in the hammock. And then also, lastly, I have, just a little REI uh, co-op, I think that is, REI co-op, lightweight fleece. It's not probably not going to need it, but if it does get into the 50s at night, if there's a breeze or something, this might be handy just to throw on at night for warmth. So uh, so that's it. That's what's all in my pack. Uh, my son's is pretty similar. Um, he's using uh, a couple of down top quilts and under quilts that I actually made from uh, some Costco blankets, down blankets that I picked up last year. They're pretty lightweight, should easily get them down into the 50s, probably the upper 40s without a problem. Uh, otherwise his setup is about the same uh, as mine really. Um, so that's it, we're just going on an overnight, but I hadn't had a chance to do a video of what contents that I keep in my pack. Even if I'm doing a multi-day trip, the contents don't really change much uh, other than I would probably throw in some clothes, uh, extra socks and underwear, that kind of stuff. I won't do that on this trip. Um, but uh, food and water, we're probably 16, 18 pounds with, with food and water for an overnight, probably less than that really, um, maybe closer to 15 pounds really. So lightweight, real comfortable to carry. Uh, so I'm looking forward to the trip and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video of what uh, I have in my pack.
If you like it, subscribe, uh, like the video, whatever, uh, and hope you found it informative. Thanks a lot.